Hi guys, in this video, I am going to talk about Perceptron. Perceptron is a learning algorithm for neural network. It is a type of supervised learning. That is, some teacher is present that will compare the output of the network with the actual output. In Perceptron, we use the Hebb rule. In Perceptron, we will calculate some weight from the given signals and now we will compare this weight with the actual output and now we will calculate what is the error between the weight calculated and what is the actual weight and now the weight will be the weight will be updated with the new weight that will have the old weight plus the learning weight that it has learned from the network and now finally in finite step it will reach to the solution now perceptron network come under single layer multi feed forward network also called simple perceptron this perceptron network come under single layer multi feed forward network we have talked that in multi feed forward network we have three layers that is input layer hidden layer and the output layer it is a learning algorithm which reach solution in finite state in perceptron we will reach to the solution in finite step that that is it will not take infinite uh, steps or so if it is taking finite state then it means the answer will be exact it will be not approximate that will tend towards the asymptotic notation it is a supervised learning which is error based this perceptron learning is a supervised learning supervised learning as the weight will be calculated from the given signals and now this weight will be compared with the actual output and now both will be compared and whatever will be the error present in fine in few steps we will be able to remove this error and when finally all the error is removed we will reach to the output and here weight updation take place using Hebb rule we have seen in the Hebb rule that new weight is the sum of old weight plus the learning into input signal perceptron model was made for image recognition only black and white image this perceptron model was given for image recognition we have and this image was only which type of image only black and white image in which we will say black is the low signal and this black will have the binary conversion as zero and white will has a high signal and this will have a binary value one now we will talk about how perceptron work and what are the components present in perceptron perceptron network consists of three units namely sensory unit that is input unit second is the associatory unit that is the hidden unit and third is the response unit that is the output unit since it is a multi feed forward network so it will have the three layers sensory unit are connected to the associatory unit with fixed weight that is the sensory unit and the associatory units are connected to each other with fixed weight that is whatever the weight of the sensory unit will be the same weight will be of the associatory unit that is this is connected with a fixed weight and binary activation functions are used here we are going to use binary activation function between sensory unit and the associatory unit we are going to use binary function if we are going to use binary function then the output will be in only two format that is zero or one and this perceptron model is used for bipolar values that is one zero and minus one response unit has activation one zero or minus one binary step with fixed threshold is used for activation function for associatory output signal from associatory to output signals are only binary 
now from associatory unit to response unit we will have activation function that will have value 1 0 or minus 1 now this will compare the value with a threshold value that is here between the sensory unit and the associatory unit we were having the binary function and in this we are going to have a function associative function where we are going to have three values that is one zero and minus one now this value will be compared with the threshold value threshold can be any value means for the network which we are talking this threshold is a value that we want to achieve nearby so it will compare the value with the with the activation function threshold value output of perceptron network is given as y is equals to f of y n f of y n if one if y n is greater than theta theta is our threshold value if the total output is greater uh, total output of the associatory unit is greater than theta then output will be one if the y n calculated is between minus theta and theta then our output will be 0 and minus 1 if y n is less than minus theta. This perceptron model uses Hebrew.